<laughs> Super lame. He's a nobody. Why is this happening only in coding? Oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright homies, today we'll review a portfolio and in fact, not only a portfolio but a post from a person on LinkedIn that is actually struggling with getting a developer job. In fact, this specific guy applied to 500 positions and never got an interview or even a callback. Imagine what sad situation that is and I don't want you to be in this guy's shoes. And that's why I want to make this video to help you out, okay? So this is not gonna be a dopamine inducing video. So if you don't have the attention span to pay attention till the end, then you're better off clicking off right now and going on TikTok. But if you pay attention and if you really watch this video and if you really try to understand what I'm saying, you'll actually be able to make some money, land interviews, get callbacks, and at some point you'll actually get a developer job because it's possible but what's happening right now, a bunch of people are being discouraged because they, first of all, they have no idea what they're doing because they're aspiring developers, right? And then people are lying to them, okay? Other influencers and other people online are too nice with people. I think that's one of the biggest strengths and uh, weaknesses of being in tech. Everyone is super supportive and really wants to help you, but at the same time, nobody tells you how things really are. Everyone is sugarcoating things. And I'm gonna be brutally honest with this guy because I wish people would be brutally honest with me, okay? I really appreciate when that happens because when someone is brutally honest with me and is not trying to sugarcoat things just to make me feel better, that's when I grow. Yeah, I might get my feelings hurt, my ego hurt, but at the end of the day, you shouldn't care about how you feel. You should care about what you have in your pockets, okay? So let's get into this and let's read this LinkedIn post. So we have Brian here and he says that in the past months, since his last post, he applied to 500 more positions and had and have since had zero interviews or callbacks. Nothing. I try to be funny, professional, personal, unique, outgoing, conversational. Nothing. I've emailed CEOs, VPs, recruiters, software engineers, nothing. And I hate it. I hate that I'm trying my best to relate to these companies, but also be different from other applicants. And I all have to show for it is an empty inbox. An empty inbox. Nobody gives a f about him. I see all these posts on my feed explaining, I should be different. Don't cold apply, just network. That's how you'll find a job. Everything works. Applying works, networking works. The problem is, and you'll see soon, the problem is that there is nothing to sell, right? You need to understand that when you try to get an interview or when you try to get a job, you need to market something, a product. But in this case, and I'll show you in a second, Brian is a nobody, has nothing. Of course, none of his applications uh, yielded in uh, anything because he's a nobody, he has zero skill, he's bringing zero value to the table and that's the case with most junior developers. They're bringing in nothing. But you'll see that I'm right in a second, so don't click off just yet. What more am I to do if no one wants to reply or give me the time of day? You're not worth it. And yes, I get it. Just keep trying and you'll get a response. This is super dumb advice. Just keep trying, it's so stupid. There are multiple things that you have to do. One of them is to keep trying, yes. But you have to keep trying to get better. And as you will see in a second, Brian is not getting better. In fact, he actually quit programming and he's not doing anything related to improving his skill set. So he keeps doing the same shit that doesn't work. And most of you are doing exactly that and then complain everywhere that this shit doesn't work. Why is this happening only in coding? Imagine being a YouTuber and not trying to get better. Imagine going to the gym, never tracking any of your weights, any of your food. You have no clue what you're doing and you're like, why am I not growing? Because you are not doing the right things. You are doing something every day, but you are doing the wrong things. It's absolutely insane. I understand that all of these people I have reached out to are busy, occupied with their careers and, I may, and that my messages are one of hundreds, thousands or millions. If most of you that are watching me are like guys, right? And you probably can understand what I'm about to say. Imagine you are on Tinder, right? And you swipe right, 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 right. You are thirsty as f you know, like every female is a go for you. You like everything, right? That's how these guys are, right? 
and that's how you are as a junior developer. You apply to everything like, I hope it yields into something, I hope I'm gonna get laid, right? That's what the guys think. And the girl is like, no, 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 no. She sees me, yes. She sees you, no, 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 no. Because you are not special at all, right? The girl, aka the job, can see everyone and can see that all of you are f***ing lame. At the end of the day, this was just a personal rant. However, it's a rant I've put out there so that others who are in my position know that they are not alone. We are not alone. <laughs> Cringe. All right. And me, look, before we read my message, let's read what other people are saying, okay? So Shan says, honestly, you're not alone. I have been in this job hunt for years. To be honest with you, I have been trying to quit my pharmacy job and I really can't wait to quit. Funny enough, I'm working with a guy that's uh, working in the pharmacy and he's about to score a crazy job after nine or 12 months of working with me. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to create a testimonial, but it's probably the best result I had so far. I have been exploring so many options, although I will still fight for a tech job. I just don't want to work in the pharmacy anymore. I have been applying since then. I start a hackathon in Queens College and I will continue to go on Sunday and Sunday code and coffee as well until the networking works. Let's look at his portfolio, right? Hi everyone, this is Shan Yuan and I'm a software engineer, okay? About me. These are your projects, brother. Guys, what the f is happening with people how can we have snake game wicked wines a website that honestly let's be honest i can't even reach it let's try connect for what the hell is this bro it's 2024 how can you make apps like this oh my Jesus Christ. Of course, none of the networking works. Like, this is not possible, man. Like, you cannot make a website like this. What's happening with people? I always say, go to this website, lexingtonteams.com. I'm not affiliated with the guy. I actually bought this team, Navy, look, right? Team details, or let's go to live demo. And I used it for my website, look. I paid a hundred bucks, right? And I'm using it for my website because I'm not a designer. Buy a freaking design and use it to build your app because this looks super lame. Like you're already labeling yourself like, hey, my name is Christian. I am super lame. Please adopt me in your company and hopefully I'm gonna be able to make some money for you. It doesn't work like that, guys. Let's see Kaden. She says, I completely empathize with you on this. Another thing that has been getting me is that I don't have nearly as much time compared to others to be applying to jobs and working on my portfolio. And yeah, I know comparison is not good for mental health, but if the people who are only applying and working on portfolio projects are the same people who are having a difficult time finding a job, that only makes me think. Honestly, it's almost gotten to a point where I've been thinking of not necessarily giving up, but focusing on things that are more achievable for me. Nonetheless, I feel you and I know that you'll get that job soon. It's always happened when you least expect it. No. He's not gonna get the job soon, right? That's that's something that that's hopium, right? He's not gonna get the job soon, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, let's go to their GitHub. So Kaden, she's not coding anything. She only has CSS projects. Carbon Sense front end. I can't even see the projects. So imagine I'm a recruiter and I, I'm struggling to find the project. The recruiter is not going to go to this point. And now I find the repo. What should I do here? Should I clone the repo, install Node.js, install your Node modules, then run the project and hope it's going to work? No, I'm not going to do that. Actually, I'm going to exit right away. I'm going to actually link this post underneath this video so you can read it. I'm the only one who's actually giving me some advice, right? So. Hey Brian, I just checked out your GitHub and you don't have any de deployed projects and the projects you have on your GitHub are way too simple and we're gonna look at that in a second. I would say your problem is not networking, but what you bring to the table. But that's great because you can change that. You can change what you bring to the table. And you know, I was actually thinking about this because all I do is thinking about how can I help you. Um, I consider you my student, even though you might or might not pay me, right? I consider you my student. So 
I was thinking what changed in the past two years and um, I, I figured out what changed in the past two years. So whenever you produce something, you have an input and an output. Let's say you want to get bigger in the gym. Well, you have a few inputs, right? The actual effort you expand into the gym. Then you have the actual food that you're eating, uh, the supplements that you're taking, magnesium and all that stuff. I don't know how helpful they are, but I take them. And then you have sleep and then the output is your muscles are growing, right? You're getting stronger and your muscles are growing, right? Input and output. It's always like that. And it's like pretty much like a factory, right? And when it comes to coding and getting a job, the inputs are the programming languages that you know, or the programming language, the frameworks or libraries. In our case, if you're learning front end, you'll be learning JavaScript, TypeScript, let's say React or Next.js. Next.js is still React in a way. And then the output changed. The input didn't change. It's pretty much the same. Maybe you had Tailwind every year, something changes, but there are very little changes from year to year, right? But what changes the output? So before in 2012, with a project like this, like Snake Game, Wicked Wines, Connect4, all this shit, in 2012, this would be like respectable, you know? Oh, okay. Uh, Shan knows his thing, let's hire him in 2012. In 2024, you need to build something called a SaaS, a software as a service. Why? Because the companies that you'll be working for are building actually SaaS, software as a service. Look it up, do some research, okay? Try to find top 10 tech startups in your area and let's see what those people are doing. Do some research and then make something that matches that. Because if I want to hire a guy, right, let's say a product owner or a manager at Notion, right, and I'm looking for a new developer and I have a budget of $400,000, will I be hiring someone who can build snake games or someone that can show me that can build a product that looks like Notion? Let's just think. I'm not even gonna tell you the answer because you are smart enough to figure it out, okay? And then I have a few comments here and says, uh, Brian says, I appreciate you, you going the extra mile and checking out my GitHub. I have been lacking with personal projects and recognized it as one of the things I need to work on to show off what I'm capable of. He's not capable of anything at this point, right? Because of what he puts out in the world. Not to say I haven't tried working on ideas I've come up with, but I usually start off with such a higher interest and dedication to make the project come to life, but then I start to convince myself that the project isn't extravagant enough to show off and then it ends up on the back burner. This is a big problem, right? Because you as a beginner, you have no idea what's good or bad, so you just have to wing it. That's why in my mentorship program, which I'm selling, yes, I tell you exactly what to do so you don't have to think about this because I'm taking away the guesswork from your life. You just have to do what I'm telling you so you're acting like a junior. Because right now, your problem is that you have to be a junior developer, so you have to code. You have to be a senior developer, create the architecture. You have to be a project manager. You have to be a designer. You have to be an entrepreneur. You have to be all these people. Overwhelming for juniors because your job should be just to write code, to understand patterns, best practices and stuff like that. But if you're by yourself, it's almost impossible to, to do. And then you have all these people that lie to you and tell you that you have to keep going and whatnot. And then you end up spinning your wheels. And then after three, four years, you'll be exactly in the same position as you are right now. Maybe even worse because you'll be burnt out, frustrated, uh, making less money because inflation is going to eat up your income and so on and so forth. However, I feel as though in terms of outreach, it wouldn't hurt to provide some feedback or response despite my lack of projects. So if you get no responses back, that means one thing. You're not worth it tough pill to swallow. You are not worth the response back. Imagine if I reach out to, I don't know, any of this freaking new age. What's the name? Taylor Swift. I reach out to Taylor Swift and I say, baby, I want to be your man. Obviously not. But let's say I say that. She's not even going to open it because I have zero value in front of her. I'm a nobody. And he's a nobody in front of all these other people. That's what people don't understand. They take it as, a, as an insult instead of like a wake up call. You have a problem. It's not your fault, but it's your problem. And you need to learn how to fix it. Okay. 
That means you need to get better. These guys, these people are not good enough. You have to build a project for three months, six months. I always say in all my videos, build a three to six month project. Make it as good looking as possible, as complex as possible. Anyway, this is something I've had people really sharp on. Projects and commits, they want to see consistent content and projects that are expanding your horizon, correct? And this guy says, are you saying we are expected to have completely non-trivial deployed multi-month long projects with a user base now to get our resume past training? Yes. And you don't need to have a user base, but the project should look like it could have a user base. I don't understand what's the problem. Would you rather learn coding for six months? It takes maximum six months to learn coding. And then spend six months building something and then applying for like three to four months to get a job? Or would you like to learn coding and then spend five years applying to jobs, getting no responses back? Because people, I don't understand why they choose the second path. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense from the point of skill acquisition. When you do something, you have to do it every day. When I was making music, I, I made music every day eight hours a day, I, I had more time back in the day when I was in high school, but I could have been out drinking with my buddies, going out to nightclubs, go, doing other shit. But no, I chose making music every day. I've made music every day for five years until I got signed. But I was making music every day. That's the part that you don't understand. If you're coding, you have to code every day, one hour. If you can only put one hour into it, do one hour. There are ways to automate the job search process, but you have to code. This is like very important. If you are a software engineer, as this guy says, right? This is Sean Yuan and I'm a software engineer. If you're a software engineer, you have to engineer software. You have to be consistent. Let's see his consistency. That is this consistency? No, this is consistency. And I'm not even looking to get a job. But again, if you don't want to end up like these guys, you need a different strategy because their strategy is no strategy. And that is still a strategy. Their strategy is wing it. And they are wondering why they're not getting any results. They are really, they're, and they are honest, right? They're not even trolling. The problem is that these guys are talking shit on the internet and then you believe them <laughs> and then you self-sabotage yourself and then you'll end up in the same situation as they are. You don't have to go through all this bullshit. Just apply for my consultation call. You can be part of my mentorship. First link in the description. And I know there will be some guy that's gonna say, oh yeah, you only say this because you are selling something. And no, I'm not selling this because I'm selling something. I'm selling something because I'm seeing this. If I wouldn't see these problems, then I wouldn't be able to sell anything because all the problems in the world would be solved. But as you can see, People have the same issues since 2015, since I was learning how to code. And they're applying the same tactics as in 2015. And they're wondering why their tactics are not working. Principles like be consistent, show up every day, keep going, all that shit. That's going to be applicable uh, today in 500 years from now. The same shit worked 500 years ago. But tactics change every day. Uh, if you make snake games like Shun, you won't get anywhere. But we haven't even seen Brian's uh, portfolio. Let's have a look, actually. Let's see, website. Oh, he is consistent. And he's making contributions in private repositories. Yeah, but the last project that he has updated is in November 2023. So probably that's why it doesn't work. Probably that's why. I have no idea how people are still thinking that self-taught is a viable option. I have no idea how people think going to a bootcamp is a viable option, but I'm pretty sure this guy will not get hired. Neither the other people who actually commented in there. Peace out.
<laughs> Super lame. He's a nobody. Why is this happening only in coding? Oh my Jesus Christ.